and the lightning and thunder, a stone falls from the sky, and the three brothers find him at the end of the rainbow, and find that he is actually a wishing stone. Paul said that he wanted to eat more chocolate bars, and did not think that he could take out countless chocolate bars in his pocket. Then wished for a castle, the result of the ground soon emerged a castle, and then he also asked for the protection of canyons and crocodiles. At this time, some brother could not stand to see, must grab it. As a result, the rock fell into the canyon, and the three brothers went to the bottom of the valley to find him. And as Paul reached for it, he was swallowed by the crocodile. In order to retrieve the stone, Paul plunged into the crocodile's mouth. Although the stone was taken out, but the crocodile made a wish, they actually stood up and began to chase Paul. When the brothers were cornered, Paul wished for something to get them out of here, and a prosaur flew in and took them. Back home, his brother felt that the three of them were too stupid. Paul picked up a stone and said that one of them was super smart, and the result was that his younger sister, who was less than one year old, became a professor and could talk to them through his mind. The three brothers decided to throw away the rock because it was too unreliable, so the elder brother used a trebuchet to throw him out, and the rock landed right next to a group of fighting children. The kid's name is Cole, and he has a sister, Kelly. Their father is the most powerful owner of the Black River Company in town, and the siblings are well-known bullies at school, often bullying Toby and liking to throw him in the trash. This time, they put Toby up in a tree with a rock, and Cole picks up the wishing stone and knocks Toby down, and Toby wakes up and hears the rock ask him to make a wish. So he says he wants to have some interesting and unique friends, and then a bunch of aliens show up to accompany him home. Toby has a beautiful sister, but the relationship between the two is not good. The parents are employees of Black River Company, busy with work all day, rarely care about Toby's growth. So, his alien friend helped him cook a dinner, after the meal, also helped him clean up the messy room, and more importantly, helped him fix his teeth and remove the braces. Toby decides to take them to school to teach Kelly a lesson. Just then the sister came into Toby's room and, seeing the stone, kicked it up curiously. My sister complained on the phone that her boyfriend was too small to satisfy her and hoped that he could grow up a little. He was already 23 years old and still living with his parents. The stone in his hand immediately granted his wish. After his younger brother Toby has an alien friend, his temperament has changed and he no longer worries that the Cole siblings will bully him. Kelly tried to bully Toby in class, but Toby threw her under the building, leaving them both with arms and casts. But the struggle between the two still cannot stop. Kelly with a tenacious will to completely defeat him. In that evening, Toby's parents are ready to attend the company party. Before leaving the sun, wanted to secretly look at the mobile phone, but was found by Toby. So his mother pretended to carry the stone away, and Toby found it and immediately followed it. Parents because of work has become a competitive relationship, so the mother hopes that two people can be more intimate. Did not expect to inadvertently say the stone to meet. Two people instantly became a conjoined person. See the boss to come over to open the door for them. Two people quickly hit. At this time, Kelly comes out to pick up the wallet on the ground, and Toby wants to take back the stone when he sees it, but Kelly's brother throws it into the trash. During the robbery, Kelly discovers the magic of the stone and turns his brother into a beetle which Toby's parents immediately join in the fight, resulting in the stone being knocked into the tray and sent to Kelly's father. His words hope that the employees have a competitive spirit, instantly let the banquet people scuffle with each other. After a chaotic grab, the stone finally returned to Toby's hands. He made a wish to have all his wishes cancelled, and everyone was restored to the way they were before, in order to prevent the stone from causing harm to others. Toby threw him out, and the stone happened to land at the home of his good friend North, and Toby's sister happened to be North's tutor sister, saw the stone and put it away. That day, my father was studying a new invention to get wet, but accidentally bounced boogers to the test bench, and was thrown out by my father before he had time to clean up. After seeing the stone in front of Toby's sister, North picked it up curiously and casually said that he hoped his father's experiment could succeed. And the result was a strange coincidence that the little booger was resurrected. At this time, Toby came looking for the stone, and after a lot of flying dogs, the stone was swallowed by the booger monster. To get the rock out, Toby reaches right into it, and almost gets in by the booger monster. North was able to save Toby by ripping out his family and threatening to eat them if he didn't let them go. In the end, North's father brings in a cell decomposition gun to successfully subdue the booger monster. But by this time, many people in the town know the magic of the stone, and everyone starts to fight. To get the stone, Kelly even used a girl trick. In the end, the stone falls into the hands of the bad dad, who wishes to be the most powerful thing in the world. The result is a black box robot. Kelly turns into a giant bumblebee to stop dad from doing damage. Cole turns into a giant beetle. Toby summons his aliens, and Fran Paul calls in the crocodile army. Even so, they couldn't stop the Black River droid. Until the real strong man comes along, the baby says that everyone's greed has changed the nature, and if it is not destroyed, the world will be destroyed by him. That's when Papa North comes up with his latest invention, and together, they destroy the stone.